Good evening and welcome. It's wonderful to see all of us as we gather here for the ecumenical Thanksgiving evening service. I love this service because we gather and some of us come from a different, we have to step out of our own home churches and into someone else's church, but we remember the words that when we gather in his name, he is with us. So let us celebrate that Christ is with us tonight, that the spirit is with us, and let us turn to one another and greet one another in the right hand of Christian fellowship. Good evening, everyone. I invite you to join me in our call to worship as printed in the bulletin and to rise, please, as we do so. Oh, give thanks to God for all the goodness we are shown. God's steadfast love endures forever. We once were a wandering people hungry and thirsty in a desert land. We give thanks for God's steadfast love. God quenches the thirsty, fills the hungry, and leads us from the desert land to a harvest home. God of the harvest, free seed, from seed and sun, you have blessed us with a harvest to help feed the world. For this we give you our highest thanks. You also offer us seed and sun for the times of famine in our lives. In the times we know the famine of silence and grief, O oh God, cause us to remember you as the God of harvest. For with you, the faith we offer serves as seed for the harvest of your life-giving food. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Let's please be seated. Psalm 100 from the NIV. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. The Gospel of John, chapter 6, 25 through 35. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly I say to you, you seek me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you, for on him has God the Father set his seal? Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, Then what signs do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to, to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. I invite you to join me in the prayer of thanksgiving. And I'm looking at this and it's very uneven. Well, no, we've got the choir, so it makes it even. Okay. 
So depending on where you're looking, I'm going to say these guys are the right. And over here is the left. If so, if you're on this side of the altar, we'll use that as the middle ground, OK? Now, I am dyslexic for all of you who are visiting, so this makes it very difficult for me. So let us join. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth in the presence of the angels. I will bless you. I will adore you before your holy temple. Left side. Thank you for your faithfulness, love which excels. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly and the hot body. He knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. Stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands.
A reading from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 3 and 9 to 20. I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may pr prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I bid everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith which God has assigned him. Yay. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with brotherly affections, outdo one another in showing honor, never flag in a zeal, be aglow with the Spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in your hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lower lowly. Never be conceited. Repay no one evil for evil but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends upon you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals upon his head. Gospel tonight is from Luke chapter 17. On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers, who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus said, were not 10 cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to the God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Yeah. 
God's children. And that God has given each and every one of us the ability to share that love with those around us. So some of you will be traveling, some of you will be staying here, some of you will be in Norbury at Sutton. But make sure as you gather that you take a moment, take a moment to quiet yourself, to look around you, to give thanks to the gifts that God has given you, the gifts that you have received. And ask God to help you to share that gift out as you pass the love to the Christ to those in this world. Please join me in our litany of thanksgiving. Almighty God, the earth is yours and the fullness thereof, the communities, states, and nations of mankind. Take away our pride and self-centeredness. Fill our lives with your goodness that we may live in harmony in the land, enjoying your gifts and giving thanks. Amen. For purple mountains, golden fields, and colorful woodlands, for sand beaches and crystal streams, for all natural resources which make our nation beautiful and life-supporting. For ranches and farms where food is planted and grown and gathered to feed our people. For towns and cities where families live, for schools where our youth study, for industry where workers make things for our needs and comforts. Amen. Thank you, God. For musicians, artists, and poets who make us laugh and cry and sing. For all who help us feel the depth of humankind. Amen. Thank you, God. For men and women dedicated to serving the needs of our people. For public servants, for all who defend and protect our land. Thank you, God. For vision to see your mighty hand in the midst of our lives and the courage to seek your purpose in all our relationships. Thank you, God. Amen. We have much to be grateful for tonight. And there are places in our world that need our love and our attention. Let us pray. O oh, loving God, we remember our brothers and sisters throughout this world who are in need tonight. We remember the homeless and those who are recovering after a horrible tornado. We remember the people of the Philippines. We remember the struggles in our own homes and in our communities and in our nation and in your world. And we come before you tonight with thankful hearts for all that we have received. But we also come, O oh Lord, believing and trusting and placing our faith in you, knowing, O oh Lord, that when we lift up those who are in need, your light and your love goes and surrounds them. We ask, O oh Lord, that you'll hear us now as we pray silently to you. For all that we have received, for the very gift of life itself, we give you thanks and praise. And we join our voices together in saying the prayer that you taught us to say when we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This evening, as we share our gifts, 
I'd like to let you know that all of our offering will go to the Ecumenical Council. The, your gifts will be used to help those who are in need. Let us give of our hearts to our Lord above. Let us pray. O oh, loving God, we come before you and we place our gifts upon your altar. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will bless these gifts, that they will leave our hands and multiply and go out and feed those who are hungry and touch the lives of those who need your light and your love. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will also bless those who give these gifts. May we know that you are with us and may our hearts be filled with thanksgiving for all that we have received. We pray all this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.